Welcome. I'm making something special. This is gonna be a really nice housing of my CNC controller. Why use a carton box? Well, I don't have steel, that's why. So I am gonna wrap it in this aluminium foil. Now I have to... This might get really hard to do. I'll explain why I do it, but let me first try and do it. Maybe this doesn't work at all. So... Try to expose the sticky side. Yeah. Put it on a glass plate that will probably be nice. I was never very really good in uh, making nice gift wraps, so I'm not, I'm not in the illusion that I can make this one look nice. But we'll see. Something like this. <laughs> this is the first time I do this. Of course it is. It would be weird if it wasn't, but... So now I guess we need to make a cut here or maybe like diagonal. Really hard. Poor table. Looking brilliant already. Yes, looking good. My professional shielded housing is coming along nicely. Um, we'll this over. And also do like this. Now fold this one in. Will this overlap? Yes, it will. That's good. Maybe apply another layer of tape here or a piece of tape. gonna work. That's my shielded electronics box. Is it gonna help anything? 
I don't know. I do have some cabling and such that has to get in there, so I'm not sure how to do that, but I think it will make a huge difference, I guess. So the thing is, this is, <laughs> I'm gonna put my CNC controller in here. And then uh, see what the plasma does to the computer and to the controller, because I have major troubles, which I expected. When I use the plasma torch, my computer is going uh, ballistics. So I'm not sure if it's coming from the controller or through the controller or picked up by the controller, but that might be the case. Uh, I'm gonna try this box. And if it works, I can make a decent box, but my electronics are somehow without a box. They're just laying there. So that's not good. The cabling is shielded, I believe. So that should be rather okay. -ish. And then I have to find I'm gonna call them actually the electronics store if they got like ferrite cores. The ones you see on USB cabling and such, or at least some of them, or on VGA cables. A ferrite core that's around the cable to uh, get rid of Amy or uh, interference. And I'll use it on my keyboard, my mouse, and the parallel port that connects to this. I prefer it on both sides to see if that helps. If that all does not do anything, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna fix the plasma to work with my CNC. So that means I probably have to buy another plasma cutter that does not have a high voltage uh, arc or starting arc. But who knows? I mean, if this does work, I can test the, f the next thing, which I'm not sure it works because it's not a plasma cutter with a pilot arc. So it has to touch the material. So I'm not sure if I can fix that somehow. But yeah, that's why I make this stupid box. Because this is a very cheap and fast method to see if it does anything. It might be even that I have to do it like this. And um, the cables come out somewhere. And then maybe have to add some more aluminium tape. At least this is one connection. I don't have to make connections to here or there. Because the back side it's all out of one piece. That's why this is so easy and nice to try. I probably have to ground it so I'll, I'll add a wire to this. I solder a wire to it so we can ground it out somewhere. I think that's a good idea. Engage soldering iron. Not sure where to ground it to. Maybe to the socket? By the way, one soldering tip. I now use this, uh, this, you know, this stuff. It's so, 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 so much better than the normal wet sponge. It, take, it took me ages to use it or get it, but in the end, the really, this point is as old as I, maybe I am, but it cleans up really nice. So this works really good. Never will use a wet sponge in, uh, anytime soon. Now I do need a wire, of course, to ground it. Um, I could use just a, uh, you know, a connector or something. Something like this might work. Here. Could also make a mechanical connection, it would probably be better, but this is all I got right now. <coughs> I 
don't think this smoke is pretty good. Let's retin this. Clean it and I'm gonna put some tape on there so I don't rip it off. Did we make a solid connection? That's the question. Yay, it's zero ohm. We did. Now we need some. Some of this. Now we've got ourselves a very nice shielded box. <laughs> really professional. This is how you do it. <laughs> well, if my uh, compressor arrives, uh, I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> 